Hi everybody, it's Kara. I have an altered art project that I wanted to share with you. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you've probably heard me talk about wanting to do more altered art type things. And I've been really inspired by some really cool things that I've been finding on Pinterest. And I have a couple blogs that I subscribe to where the ladies just do some really fantastic altered art things. And one of the things that I have been really liking are some altered spools. So I just decided to try and give that a go. And I took some of these wooden spools and painted them with a couple different paints and sanded them and distressed them and sprayed them with some Lindy Stamp Gang. And then I took one of them and I decorated it. I altered it. So here is what I created. And basically the base part, the spool, was decorated or painted, I guess I should say, in this kind of color with the creamy kind of gold shimmery base. And I took it and I wrapped it with some really pretty lace that I had received from a friend and some seam binding that I had sprayed some, uh, I think it was Moonshadow Mist on to kind of make it a little bit more vintagey, shabby chic. I used one of the stick pins that I got in a swap and I do apologize because I don't remember who made this particular one for me. I take my little stick pins that I get in swaps and I put them in a pin cushion and I honestly don't remember, but whoever made it did a fantastic job. It's just really, really pretty. And then I handmade some rosettes because I wanted them different sizes in the dies. This one's about three and a half inches in diameter and this little one's about an inch. I took both of them and I embossed certain parts of them. Hopefully you can see the glitter on the creases here and on the edges of the flowers, the rosettes. And I also did the buttons that are the centerpiece with embossing powder. Attached them to wire and then attached the wire basically inside this little hole in the spool. Attached the image that I got on Etsy decorated the bottom with some flowers. I did put a few flowers on the bottom, but I'm sorry, on the back, but the back's really not meant to obviously be the focal point because you can see this little stick that I used to kind of help secure the image. I think the next one I try, I'm gonna try kind of a different setup, but again, I don't really mean for the back to be the focal point, so I'm not really too bothered by that. But so there is kind of my first attempt. Let me pull back the camera so you can see it. So that's what I created. I think it looks, you know, pretty good for a first attempt. I'm pretty pleased with it. Obviously I have three more spools that I'm going to uh, attempt to alter, see what I can come up with. The hardest thing for me was figuring out kind of how to adhere these parts because that's not something that I normally do. I mean, I can attach flowers and trim and all of that good stuff, but you know, I had to kind of figure out how to get the image, the rosettes and the image to be, you know, standing upright. And that was a little bit difficult. So, you know, I'm curious if any of you guys do anything similar to this. If you have any helpful hints or a special kind of adhesive you use, if you'd let me know, that would be great. I'm not really a hot glue fan. I tend to stick with glossy accents and um, Scotch Quick Dry and things like that. So... I am, you know, a little bit lacking in the knowledge of, you know, how to attach certain things, but I'm hoping with more practice that it'll come a little bit easier. But anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below or any comments. I always appreciate what you guys have to say. And um, uh, one other thing I wanted to say was, you know, this is something new for me, this altered art, and I really had a good time with it. So I just want to encourage you guys that if there's anything out there that you really have been wanting to try some new technique or some new project, whatever it is, that you go for it because you can have a lot of fun and it may actually turn out better than you expected. So once again, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you're at. Bye.